What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. I am solo today, but often accompanied by my other half, and we are Ruth and Thomas. Now, I won't tell you which one I am, you just have to guess. Am I Ruth or am I Thomas? Today I'm going to tell you 10 more date ideas that you have probably never tried before. And now I say 10 more date ideas because this is actually part two of our newest series. And if you haven't seen part one, check it out in the links right here. And if you're new to this channel, my wife and I test and create unique date ideas for your enjoyment and inspiration. For all of the date ideas I'm going to tell you about, we've actually already done them and made videos with full instructions, so check them out in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, we're starting off with an original Ruth and Thomas patented idea, and it's called the Travel the World Date Night. And it's perfect for right now because many of us can't travel anyway. So the basic concept is that you are going to randomly select a country by either spinning a globe or using an online random country generator. Then you are going to devote the rest of the evening to learning as much as you can about that country. So you're going to find the colors of their national flag and wear an outfit to match. You're going to look up traditional recipes and then get all of the ingredients to cook it. And then while you're cooking, you are going to learn phrases in that national language like I love you and what's your name and where is the bathroom and then lastly you're going to watch a movie made about that country. This is a great date night for those of you who have that travel bug and just want to get out there and learn more about other cultures. For this next one you are going to take a video of you and your partner regaling us of the story of how you met and got together. I don't know about you guys, but our memories are terrible, and every year it seems like we're forgetting more of those little details. So we sat down and just recorded ourselves sharing the story that we can look back on in years to come. Even better, one day you'll be able to show your kids and your grandkids, and they'll just be shocked that you ever looked so young. Speaking of love stories, this next date is actually one that we did in the very beginning of our relationship, and that is to have a fancy dinner in the woods. We recently recreated this one and we upped the ante by bringing our own tables, chairs, decorations, but you can really make this one as simple or complex as you like. All you have to do is pre-cook a meal, put on some fancy clothes, and hike out to a remote wooded area that you can enjoy each other's company in. One thing I will say though, is definitely be sure to check the hours of the park that you're in because you may or may not get fined or locked in like we did. Oh my gosh, it's closed. Yeah. <gasps> we often get caught up in the hustle and bustle of adult life that we often forget to enjoy the little things that we really used to appreciate when we were kids. So tonight, we are recreating and reliving the best aspects of our childhood. What was your favorite food as a kid? Mac and cheese? Butter noodles? Tater tot casserole? Eat it! And what was your favorite movie? Toy Story? Spy Kids? Gilligan's Island? Watch it! Whatever comes to your mind when you think of your childhood, whether it be Legos, pillow forts, footy pajamas, and ice cream, well, take a day or evening to enjoy those things again. How willing are you to get messy? Because this next one is the Egg Roulette Trivia Date. It's similar to Jimmy Fallon's Egg Roulette game, except this one has a trivia twist. To play, you're going to need a dozen eggs, eight hard-boiled and four raw. You'll need them all at the same temperature so that you can't tell which are which. Then you are going to get 25 or so trivia questions and ask them to each other. Every time you get a question wrong, you have to smash an egg on your head. For the complete rules, check out our video in the link down below. I'm sure many of you have been to a drive-in movie theater before, but have you ever gone all out and decked your car out to make it seem like a real theater experience? When COVID first struck, we realized that going to the outdoor movie theater was one of the only entertainment experiences we could still enjoy. So we decided to make the most of it. I prepared salmon cakes, fried pickles, and smoothies while Ruth made the back of our Jeep into our own cozy movie watching den. Many drive-in theaters actually open their gates before sundown, so we got there nice and early to make sure we really enjoyed the evening before the movie even started. It was honestly such a memorable experience and far more fun than just watching Netflix at home. Next up is the coin flip road trip. Essentially, you are just going to get in a car and drive. Every intersection you come to, you're going to flip a coin, and if it's heads, you turn right. If it's tails, you turn left. 
This is a great way to experience new things in your city that you've never seen before. And if you see anything unique or beautiful or interesting, get out and take a photo to commemorate. We actually ended up in a beautiful field that was wide open and you could see the sunset and a bar with a really cool mural. And we actually ended up at our friend's house, which was miles and miles outside of the city limits. So you never really know where you're going to end up. And this is a great way to experience unplanned adventure. One of the things we've been most nostalgic for lately is going to crowded events like concerts or theater productions and just being around hundreds of people. Well, while we can't be near crowds of people, we can still have that unique theater experience from the comfort of our own homes. For us, this meant laying out the red carpet, dressing to the nines, making a fancy charcuterie board, and queuing up a Broadway show from Amazon Prime. We hadn't seen it yet, so we watched Cats, but there are plenty of other shows out there like Hamilton on Disney Plus or Les Mis on Netflix. Whatever you do, really, it's just a fun excuse to get dressed up and eat really good food. For this next date idea, we wanted to definitively determine where you could find the best hot chocolate. So we went to six fast food restaurants and ordered a small hot chocolate. Then we made two more hot chocolates at home. Then we ranked all of them comparing consistency, taste, smell, etc. And the victorious hot chocolate actually surprised both of us. When you take away the brand name and the bias, it's actually quite an interesting competition. For such a simple idea, we had a ridiculously fun time and would definitely recommend you try it. It's like my, it's like my palate is being awoken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that brings us to our final date idea and certainly the most unique idea, and that is to spend 24 hours in a tree. So when Ruth and I did this, we went all out. We brought along hammocks, we prepared meals, and we even brought board games. But you don't have to do any of that. In fact, if you're intimidated by it, just take some time to go out in nature. Read a good book, go for a hike, and just enjoy the beautiful views together. And that's it. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure you check them out in the description below. And if you want to join us on our journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.